is he number six? Oh, what a start! Will that be pulled back? No, the race continues because it looked there very much as though Cavati jumped the start, but that now has enabled Patrick Dudek to come through. Smarslik is third, Polander on a 4 2. Dudek in for Matze Janowski, and watch out for Smarslik here now. Smarslik throwing the bike towards Nico Cavati, tries the inside run. 4 2 to Poland, is it going to be a 5 1? He's done it, but Cavati's still coming back for more. Great speedway down the back straight here. Wow, Cavati showing plenty of guts and determination, but now Smarslik coming. Coming through, Cavati coming up the inside, pushing the Polish world number two. Oh. Awfully tight in the trick corner there. Great stuff from Dudek because there's no question that Cavati was very sharp on the tape. But now Poland's done their authority. They must have been looking at this race as a potential 5 1 against the Italians. And now it's proving that they did have to work hard, particularly Smarslik. Good riding from Dudek in front. Patrick Dudek riding his green machine <laughs> on the way to victory in hit number six. Good speedway again. Credit Nico Cavati there. He didn't quite have the speed to match Smarslik. Smarslik came through, did the business, but yeah. Cavati threw everything at it, and you can't fault him for effort. And no. I'm enjoying this meeting tonight. Good it, stuff. It's getting better as the conditions are improving. Riders getting more confidence in the surface, of course. We have the poles with uh, Smarslik off the inside gate in blue, Dudek off gate three. A 5 1 wins the meeting for Poland. And they're off and running here, but Hartle comes through into second spot. Oh, has a lead! Oh my goodness! The reserve, the under 21 rider, Michael Hartle, now coming through to take that advantage for Poland is Bartosz Smarslik. Dudek's in third now, but a 4 2. Smarslik. Yeah, and now Smolinski putting Smolinski pressure on Dudek. And Smolinski's taken Dudek down that back straight. Whoa. Can you believe it here? I can't believe it. Michael Hartle, a hero in the first corner for Germany. Now Dudek coming back in the third place. Smolinski responds brilliantly. Tough racing out the back. This would put Germany in the last chance race off the uh, heat number 23. This would put them on to 20 points if it stays like this. Yeah, huge result on the cards here. Dudek trying everything he knows. Michael Hartle out of shape again. Great effort from him. Smarslik's out in front. He's missing all the oh, fire. Oh, Hartle loses oh, control. He's all out of shape, but he's hanging on in there. Dudek's out the back. Massive result for Germany, Nigel. Massive. Yeah, Poland are going to finish on 24 points, which hands Sweden the chance to win the meeting. It's three points for Germany. Wow. 20 points in total now. And they are now in the two, their, their worst case scenario now for Germany will be they go straight through to heat 23, wow. the final race of the night. I tell you what, Pepe Rudolph, their team manager, probably can't quite believe it. They had gates two and four, they put Smolinski off four. Michael Hartle, an absolute hero in the first corner. This is just a straight shootout between the Czech Republic and Germany. A three-all will win it for Germany because they finished third in the standings on the night. Yep. So that will do it for them. Here we go. The Germans are in the driving seat now. Let's see who can make it. Milik's made a good start from gate number two, but Smolinski squeezes him out. Hukenbeck has come through as well. And the Germans are in dreamland here in Lanshut. They're on a 5-1 as it stands. Smolinski is the man in blue. Kai Hukenbeck in red. Milik goes on one wheel, just about stays on the bike. Milik's going to try everything. Oh! He's going high and wide. He wants the last word here. He does indeed. Mars on the inside. Milik oh. has come through. Good racing here. Fabulous effort from Milik. He really wound it on there. Hukenbeck coming back at him as well. He's out in front. Martin Smolinski, but it won't be enough for the Czech Republic. Kritschmar has tailed off. Germany's still in the driving seat here tonight, even if Milik gets to the front. It's looking good for Germany. Yes, Malinsky is holding a line, riding quite nicely. Milik's going to try the inside run. Smolinski has come good when it's mattered most for Germany. They got a three-all against Poland in their last outing. And we know Milik. Sweden and Poland oh. are going through. Milik's Milik. going to just have the last word with a great ride. Super stuff from Vaclav Milik. Smolinski's got to be careful here. He's got ride. Milik's going to win the race on the line. And Martin Smolinski and Kai Hukenberg get a three apiece here in the final race of the night. And that was stunning, stunning speedway from wow. Vaclav Milik and what the German ride. fans.
absolutely appreciative of what they've just seen there. That was stunning speedway. Fabulous stuff there. Miller out of the top draw, Nigel. Superb effort there, really far up. Unfortunately, it isn't quite enough because Germany finishing second and third as the higher-ranked team, the third-best team on the night. They join Poland and Sweden in the world final in Togliati in Russia in the summertime. Great stuff, and the Germans have uh, had a hard night. They've made hard work of it at times, but they've come through really when it mattered. Minik has been outstanding for the Czech Republic, and they had to do it the hard way. That's his eighth ride on the night. <laughs> wow, he's going to sleep well tonight. Superb stuff from him. But Germany join Sweden and Poland in the world final in Togliati.